here with uh, Daniel Thompson, aka Tobo, looking at the new SKX model. So, what's kind of the backstory here? You worked with uh, with Stu Kennedy developing this. Yeah, yeah. So um, after Stu's success last year with the sci-fi model. Um, we figured we better step up and, and get him his own pro model um, since he's doing such a good job, job promoting the boards at, at the WSL event. So, yeah, um, this model basically fills in the gaps where a sci fi might be too um, just too overpowered in, in bigger waves or choppy conditions where he's just going too fast to like really knife it. Um, so, yeah, the, the squash tail design basically just gives him a bit more hold in waves like um, Brazil or France um, where there's a lot of power on the water so yeah we've um, incorporated the the sci-fi hull design the quad inside single concave to give the board you know that incredible responsiveness and, and lift and, and kind of freedom on the face of the wave um, there's a bit of a misconception with with channel bottoms and and the, and the bottoms I'm doing with multi concaves these boards actually release the board from the surface of the water. It gives a real floaty feeling. And, um, you know, it, it, a regular channel might be a little bit more tracky and drivey, where this is actually kind of enhances the speed, it's detachment from the water. And once on rail, it really grips in like a channel at that point. So it kind of gives it um, the best of both worlds when, when it comes to a, a hull design. So. Pretty excited about all that, and um, obviously the technology is getting much, much better with the LFT. It's super lightweight. We've got an uh, improved uh, deck skin material that's much, much lighter than the old material. It, ha it has a more of a feel like PU underfoot. It's more more of a lifelike feel, real sensitive, and um, it even like the dents actually come back out too. So when you dent the board, it kind of like the foam has memory almost, so the dents kind of go away. So it's pretty. That's pretty rad. And um, hey, you have like uh, a high density foam stringer on these. Yeah, high density foam, um, kind of da Vinci cell style foam, which is really dense foam. Gives it an incredible flex memory. And then we've uh, got also the carbon strips um, on the deck and the bottom of the board to just give it a real, real lifelike spring. Like tons of flex memory. So. Um, like I mentioned to you before, Stu actually rode stock uh, build in a WSL event, which is a pretty strong statement for the quality of uh, technology that Firewire is coming up with. You know, my philosophy with a lot of my design is, is, is that at ground level, every board should work well in, in crappy conditions. It just, that just lends itself to the fact that a board is really efficient when it works in a low power situation. And, and also, you know, it'll work good in in, in like, the, like the conditions I designed it for, which is more of um, unruly ocean where um, a planing hull wide tail might be a little bit too extreme, too much lift and speed. Um, the, channeled, uh, the channel out the tail and the squash tail is going to give you a little bit more control in those situations. So it really is a, a classic all-rounder. Um, it's very compact for a short board. It's not a, a, a long short board. It's very, very short. Um, uh, um, for that kind of style shape, so it's, we feel it's pretty um, cutting edge as far as a, a, a squash tail shortboard design goes. Yeah. That's great.